All right, Julie, a long time ago in a radio galaxy far away, yeah. I worked at WNAP, which was with WIBC, and I definitely remember a young lady at the receptionist's desk, very friendly, a great personality. Oh my gosh, Terry Stacy, yeah. you have to be talking about that lovely, lovely lady. And what a story, too. She went from that desk mm -hmm. to on the air for yeah, years. Yeah, behind the microphone. Sense, yeah. I think she's probably been there as long as anybody, yeah. but she's not that old, so I don't, I don't know how that don't works. Know how Do the she math. Did that, yeah. But if you haven't caught up with Terry Stacy lately, we want you to now. Hey guys, we are here inside the WIBC studio right in downtown Indianapolis on the circle and with the one and only Terry Stacy. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting us kind of get behind the scenes, seeing how it's it's all done. You are a pro at this. People know oh. you, they know your voice, they see you. It seems like you're out everywhere in the community. Try to be. And you have one of my favorite stories about how you got started. So tell uh -oh. us like how how you got here. A long time ago, 33 years ago, um, I started at WIBC as a receptionist here. They wanted to see about quite possibly, um, you know, adding a female and uh, it was just, the timing of it was that I became what was called the employee of the, the, the month mm -hmm. and the actual gift or prize was to hang out on the morning show with Jeff Pigeon and Bob Lamey and Joe Pickett and Fred Heckman and everybody that was a part of it at that time. I'm terrified. This wasn't what I wanted to do. So for a week I did it with Jeff Pigeon who took very good care of me. They all did. Everybody looked after me and made sure that I was uh, okay mm -hmm. and, uh, and it was a tough week and it, I, I was terrified. And uh, they asked me if I wanted to do it again. And, and the so, listeners loved you. Well, they apparently, somebody did because it, got, it, it kept me going. Mm -hmm. It kept me going on this radio station. And now I'm into my 33rd year. And on the mornings for 22 or 23 of those years, 24 yeah. maybe, I don't, I've lost count. You start yeah. to lose count after yeah. a while, but a long time. Well, we know the listeners do love you. And you love Indianapolis. What is it I about do. working in the radio here in this market that is... You've made it home. Well, I'll tell you, first of all, it wasn't anything I, I ever dreamed of doing. So every day has just been a wonderful, and I know it sounds very corny, but it's like a gift that I've been given because I'll tell you, the media is spoiled rotten. The media goes everywhere, mm -hmm. goes to every event. Every restaurant wants you to try their food. And, you know, you, you're really treated very well uh, in the city, and this is a great city to be in. So to have all of these doors open for me that I never would have imagined uh, has been just the most fun. It is the most fun. And this city, to be a part of it and to watch Circle Center being built and to see everything come to, li come to life truly, um, all that we have now with the Hoosier Dome and, mm -hmm. then, and then now Lucas Oil Stadium and to watch downtown thrive yeah. has been incredible and the people in it are incredible. And you have your hands in, in a lot of different things because sometimes you're I listening do. and it's very funny, lighthearted. Sometimes you're really spreading the word about important things yeah. happening in the city. What are some of your favorite interviews to do? And oh my gosh. It always involves, um, seems like it always involves kids. Mm -hmm. um, it always involves people that are battling something, but they're, they're coming out on the other side, um, willing to share those stories. Um, our military, always amazing stories. Um, you know, the stories of mom and pops that are, mm -hmm. are trying to, to build a business or, or live a dream are amazing. But I've also had that opportunity, and you know, to talk to astronauts and to talk to our, our first responders and to talk to people um, just that are walking around on Monument Circle that have an opinion about something. Mm -hmm. we, are, we are a diverse, wonderful, wonderful community, a city. Some people don't like the word community, but... When I go to festivals, um, fundraisers, 250 of them, you were one of those. So we were mm -hmm. the first fundraisers that I, I got to be to watch come to life um, for our WIBC Neighbor to Neighbor program. You know, it is just uh, amazing to see what is being done without necessarily a government entity yeah. involved and how quickly things can be done when you really, when, when these churches and, and uh, individuals like you trying to make something happen and yeah. make it happen. I love it. And you really take your role um, you know, as the voice of the community, in the community, sharing some of those those stories that you were talking about. Do you have a favorite when you stop and think about um, the ones that have really made an impact? That made an impact? Well, th the truth is, with the WIBC Neighbor to Neighbor program that we do, which is going to those nonprofits, those fundraisers, um, 
you know, that don't get the big spotlight like a lot of, of others do. And, uh, you know, that program started with you. You were my very first one. And it wasn't that I had not done a million fundraisers or events before, but your story was one that I will never forget. And where you came from and what you were battling or what you were dealing with within your family and that fundraiser that you and your family yeah. and your friends all put together and 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 did some good. 93 WIBC, it's Terry Stacy. Joe Clark was diagnosed with stage three colon cancer just before his 28th birthday and just two months before he married his bride, Amanda. Amanda has found a way to keep friends and family updated on Joe's condition by writing a blog that we found titled Cocktails and Chemo. And she joins us now to talk about Joe, her husband, uh, as well as this upcoming event that will happen next weekend. Just tell us about Joe. He is pretty amazing. He's just a good-hearted person. And uh, it's, I think it's why it's so hard to watch something like this happen to someone because you just know he can do so much. They're all important, um, whether they're involving kids or they're involving animals, which I love so much, you know, uh, or, or our veterans or uh, there's so many. There's so many um, good events that are out mm -hmm. there. Every weekend, every night of the week. Yeah. It's pretty cool how, to see how you guys these fundraisers really are making the world go around that's what's what's working yeah mm -hmm. well she really you really do have one of the most inspiring stories i think as you kind of started from the bottom and have worked your way to this position in the community so thank, thank you. you so thank much you. thank you for talking to us thank you you guys for now i'm amanda clark with boomer tv